will show you how you can render your YouTube videos in HD quali quality, high definition, using Windows Movie Maker. Um, so let's get started. This video was requested by DKT3 Wings, and yes, I uh, zoomed in a lot using um, uh, Firefox. I'll just zoom that out later and you can if you don't have it already on your system but I believe it comes with Windows I'm not sure though so um, uh, there's a Windows XP version and a Windows Vista version personally I don't use it it's a little too simple and it is easy to use and it's very simple but it doesn't have that many features but it's very good for beginners and this editor really did not like it but it's okay. It's not super super bad, but it's not definitely not the best. It's a 12 megabyte file. That's probably not exact. So I'll click download now and run the installer. And same thing with the Vista version. And this one is actually a much smaller file. Um, surprisingly, it's Vista. So after you ran, ran the installer, you just want to open it up. You can import, which basically means you can get files after you made the video on a digital camera or um, from any folder that you have so you can just click videos or something automatically go to your videos or if it's on your desktop or whatever. you can just uh, drag it from there you can also click and drag so if you have a file in another uh, window let's say uh, pictures nature you can just sort of click and drag it in there and it's um yeah and then you can use that in your video um so I already have this test here I'm just gonna remove this from the clip bin and you can either click add to storybook board or you can just drag it in um I believe there's also a timeline so if you want to be exact with it the storyboard's fine for this and basically after you're done your uh, editing stuff but there's not much editing you can do I guess I mean, you can add transitions you can add some effects uh, and all that um, important. Uh, basically though you just want to go to tools options and then um, it's by default it's on your general tab you just want to go up to the um, uh, tab bar and just click advanced and then you wanna depending on your region if you're watching this video in North America or South America and make sure that NTSC is um, selected but I think it, this is also better for YouTube but if you're in the United Kingdom or somewhere else like Asia or Australia or something like that then you can click PAL P -A -L, I believe and it should, by default it should look like this 4-3 aspect ratio which is just uh, 4-3 like 640 by uh, uh, 640 by 480 but by 16 by 9 it's um, widescreen and this is HD and if you need more help you can just click water video settings just want to click OK after that you can um, either click this publish movie button up here or you can click publish under publish to this computer or any other uh, source that you have so I'm just going to click this computer name it um, test I, I guess you can save it to wherever, uh, wherever for this particular video though I'm just going to choose my desktop you can browse click next you want to go down to more settings by default it's right there and just click Windows Media HD 720p. I think YouTube also renders it in 180p, but this is better. Um, it's a smaller file and it's still really good quality. And it also has estimated space required, which is this is like the only feature that I like. And I also like the um, interface on Windows Media um, Movie Maker, and it actually calculates how how big it is. So you just want to click publish and it will just run through it'll be the, you got the second remaining and the percentage the movie file name and the destination very simple and basic and yeah 
and over here in while you're editing you can also preview um, your video so it's not that big of a deal so we're just gonna wait till this completely um, publishes or processes and then you can play the movie um, I don't think so click finish minimize this and it should be on the desktop with your background so I'm just gonna drag it to the middle you can check all like the file size and all that by clicking right clicking clicking properties of course you can test it and it should be um, loading I'm not sure why my computer sucks this bad but um basically it's recommended that you pre-record it um, if you're using a digital camera or a screen recording that you actually film recorded in a 16 by 9 resolution which is about 1280 by 720 1980 by uh, I don't know I think it was like 1280 or something like that I don't know this calculates 16 by 9 and record it like that. It's recommended and it does. It can stretch it out and stuff. But it's just better quality if you do that. So that was it. Um, it converts it into a WMV format. So that you can upload that to YouTube. It's not Windows Movie Maker of course is not the best thing but it's a free alternative to Camtasia and Sony Vegas. Although you do have like 30 day trials on those. Once again this is requested by DK T three wings, remember that name. Go to his channel and bookmark it if you want. Thirteen subscribers, six hundred sixty two channel views. He joined December sixteenth, two thousand seven. And I'm not sure what game that is. If you're watching this video, tell me what game that is. Just leave a comment. And please rate, comment, and subscribe if you uh um like this video and helped you in any way and uh thanks for watching peace out